Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. And now we will make this effect. But first, I want to tell you about my own karaoke titles toolkit with over 20 unique styles and easy way to use it even for beginners. Best part? If you've seen somewhere cool styles of karaoke titles, you can write me to this email and I'll make update with styles which you want. It supports any font and any language. It's completely transparent so you can render only titles for your client if you need. It already has a big variety of styles, which is great fit for any song. You can even use your own photo as bouncing ball to make it more fun for your audience. It has three main controllers. Slider for timing. Color pickers for colors to personalize your look. And check boxes for styles. And also you can use your own logo. And that's still not all. You can also combine multiple styles to make vibrant and interesting to watch your own unique karaoke titles. Link to my karaoke tiles toolkit is first link in description to this video. And now, let's get started. I'm working in Adobe After Effects CC 2015. This footage you will find in the description below. Let's drag and drop this BG video on this icon here to create new composition. As you can see, it's pretty simple footage. And let's also drag and drop this rabbit footage right here, just above. You can find any other animal on YouTube. Just type in rabbit green screen and you can find a bunch of those. You can also type animal running green screen and find pretty cool videos of other animals which you can use. So let's work with our rabbit. Here in effects and presets, let's search for key light, drag and drop on our footage, select this green color and as you can see key works fine. Let's also apply tint effect, drag and drop on our footage, curse effect, also drag and drop. In blue channel, let's add some blue, add some green in green channel. And in red channel, let's make this curve. As you can see, we had this bluish tone. Press S on keyboard to change scale. Let's make it smaller to about 62%. And now let's match our movement. So as you can see, I'm looking at rabbit at this point in time. Go to view, show rulers. Let's drag one here to his paws right here. It will help to create a believable motion. So let's press P on keyboard and create our first keyframe. Press F9 on keyboard to make it soft animation. Then skip few frames just about when our rabbit is about to jump and move it over to our ruler. Then skip few frames to the point where he is touching the ground and move it over here. Let's also move our ruler. Then again skip few frames just before he is about to jump and move it over to our ruler and repeat same steps a bunch of times, as also at the beginning. So now as you can see we have pretty cool motion. We can also have some issues with our keying. We can fix this by opening this screen mat and click black. Let's set it to 10. As you can see now it works fine. We can preview this. Okay, it looks good. Now select our rabbit layer and go to layer pre-compose. Let's leave it at rabbit. Click here to move all attributes and click OK. And transfer mode, let's set it to add. Let's press T on keyboard to change our opacity. I'll set it to 90 because it should look ghost-like. Go to effects and presets and let's search for the echo effect. Just type in echo and drag and drop on our rabbit composition. Let's increase number of echoes. I'll set it to 30 and decay let's set it to 0.85. Let's also change our echo operator. Let's set it to composite in front. As you can see now we have some trace which we will customize. Let's search for directional blur. Drag and drop on our composition and change direction to 90 and blur length to 15. So now we have much smoother motion. Let's also find turbulence displays and drag and drop on here. Amount let's set it to minus 100. Size let's set it to 50 and let's also animate our offset turbulence. Let's create keyframe at the beginning and at the end let's set it to minus 600. Press U on keyboard to see our keyframes and let's move it towards the end like here. So as you can see it gives some waving animation like it decays in our atmosphere. I think it looks good. Let's also apply motion tile, set it above of all effects. It will fix this issue at the edges. As you can see we have some gap here. Let's change output width to 115 and click on this checkbox mirror edges and it will fix this issue. 
Now let's apply some curves effect. Just type curves and drag and drop on our footage. In RGB channel let's make this curve. Then let's apply sharpen effect. Just type sharpen and drag and drop on our composition. Let's set it to 15 to add some extra clarity. And let's apply another curves effect. Just drag and drop here. Let's make this curve. Let's duplicate. Go to edit. Duplicate. Let's parent this layer below to layer above. Press S on keyboard to see our scale. And let's click on this checkbox to change only our height. I'll set mine to 85. I like it better. And let's delete all of these effects. Just select first one and press Ctrl A on keyboard to select all of them. And then press delete to delete all of them. Here let's type fast blur and drag and drop. Let's set it to about 9. Let's also add some tint effect. Drag and drop on our composition. Let's set it to 50. So basically now we were working on our color correction. So let's apply some curves effect. Drag and drop and make this curve. And finally let's add some glow. Type in glow and drag and drop here. Glow threshold I'll set it to 38. And glow radius to about 455. Glow intensity let's set it to 0.3. Let's duplicate this glow. Go to edit. Duplicate. Let's make some changes. Glow threshold, let's set it to 90. Glow radius, let's set it to 505. And glow intensity, I've set to 14.6. As you can see, now we have nice bright glow. Let's select our curves effect and go to edit, duplicate and drag it under all of the effects. Press reset and make something like this curve. It's still quite bright. Just select our layer, press T to see our opacity and let's change to 75. Okay, I think it looks good. Let's preview this. So yeah, this is pretty much the whole effect. Just experiment with other animals. I think it will be even more fun. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.